we've now like written an entire Angular app in like an hour. Super cool, right? Pretty easy. How do you feel about it? Like good, bad? I see some head nodding. That's good enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you can just kind of build straight from the HTML with a couple of JavaScript files, whereas maybe other frameworks might make the process a little bit more cumbersome to get started. For sure. So here you can just like put a tag, like it's just like using jQuery or something. Like Definitely. Uh, I'm going to say, go on a limb and say that working in Angular and Ember particularly, if you want to build a rapid prototype, like you just want to get shit out the door right now, you really can't beat those two. Like they're super fast at writing up new code. Um, I would say in Angular goes even faster, but I would say Ember is probably a better long play. Depends. That's th that's personal off the cuff opinion. So take that with you know a couple bags of salt. But definitely, like it's they're both really really fast and productive to work in. So we might come back to this. If we have some bit more time, we'll go over some like custom directives, right? Oh, and I'll show you, like, there's a bunch of directives as well. Like, I've just like scratched the surface of even the ones that Angular exposes to you. So like I, that one that you removed earlier, let's just go ahead and put it back. ng show equals to do dot completed. As you might expect, like, so now, if you like add these in, like the X will show. I mean, at least I am. I'm constantly showing and hiding divs, right? Like, this makes it just trivial to do it. If you wanted to like do the negation of it as well, like ng hide works as well. There's a umpteen billion, right? The other cool thing is like you can make your own directives, which is really cool. So if you wanted to say like, I don't know. Like if you wanted to change the color of the X based on if the completed the thing was completed or not, it's trivial to do with an Angular directive. So, cool. Uh, I was going to show you just the, like what a filter is really quick. Um, let's go back up here to the add new task. Just underneath it, like we did before. Um, let's see where are we. Yeah, whatever, wherever you want to, really. So we have this new task, right? And then if you can put like a bar, right? And then you can put a filter afterwards. In this case, I think it's uppercase, if I remember correctly. Let's just give that a shot. So no matter what, like, this is a new thing, right? Notice that it's getting printed out with all uppercase. That uppercase one just happens to be built into Ember, or sorry, into Angular, so that was an easy one to do. But that, like, if you want to, like, do format for price, for currencies, right, there's one for that. If you want to do, like, uh, um, I-1811, or I-18N, right, that's the internationalization thing, um, you can build a filter for that, so you can write everything and say, just run this through my translator, it works. So lots of cool things you can do with filters. You can define your own filters. You can use them programmatically as well. Those are kind of the fun parts of Angular. Cool. Any questions about Angular before we move on? You can always revisit them, so. All right. These. We're gonna move on to Ember. Does anybody need a break? Yeah, please do. Keep rolling. All right. I have one question, real quick. In most of these uh, languages, or these uh, constructs, uh, is commenting out? Is it just the same as HTML? Nothing special. So if you want to comment out. Your your mustache code. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. So you just use regular HTML comments. Yeah. Let's, in fact, let's give it a shot. So, just whatever. Just change one of these to right. be like new task, right? Now the question is, is, does it get compiled? I'm not actually sure. It still works, right? Like it's not there, but I'm not sure if Angular will actually run it through the compiler. 
Uh, my guess is not, because my guess is that they exclude comments, but that's, that's a gut feel. One way to find out. Yeah, totally. <coughs> um, yeah, cool. Good question. Concerns about throwing logic in the HTML. Do I have concerns about that? Uh, someone. Someone does. Chatting. Yeah, no, I mean, totally valid concern. And it's probably, in my opinion, the most valid one you can lever against. Um, Angular is it's very tempting to put a lot of logic in the template and that it's tempting to do a lot of like tightly coupling to of your template to your um, controllers when really the idea of angular is to separate that out um, angular is not going to make you code one way or the other I think we went over this a little bit already but uh, so they give you enough rope to hang yourself definitely so it's up to you to, to, pra to observe be best practices. In my experience in practice, it seems like with all the frameworks, that's always a problem, coupling things to the view. It is, for sure. It's, it's a perpetual JavaScript problem. Like, yeah, backbone apps, like, there's so much stuff in the view a lot of times. And oh my God. same thing with Angular, same thing with, you know, a lot of different code bases I've seen. Just in production. Yeah. Poorly written backbone might be the worst thing in the entire world. <laughs> Possibly. Like, it's like w wars right up here, right? And then, like, poorly written backbone. No, I'm just kidding. That's awful. But yes, um, it's really hard to separate those out. And it's really up to you as a programmer to observe those best practices. We're going to see here with Ember here in a second. It's actually really hard to, to break out of best practices, which is nice. Uh, what's your opinion of Angular's DOM templating language versus string-based templating languages like Mustache? Um, when coupled with Angular, they're very pleasant to work with. It's very fast and easy to work with. Um, I don't, I, I don't have any problem with it. So it's worked pretty well for me, anyway. Yeah, we're about to get into handlebars, so uh, you guys will get the chance to make your own decision about that. <laughs> 